just need a, a quick hand if you don't mind, officer. A quick hand with what? Uh, well, the, there's a charger over there, license plate barber, that's got illegal tint on the sides. Okay. So did you want to? I know it's got a blue line on it. Did you want to give it a ticket? And it only has one license plate because you're required to have two license plates, right? On a car in Connecticut. Uh, correct. Yeah. So he he is missing one license plate. Okay. And he's got illegal tint. Okay. So can you issue him a ticket well, now? We'll, we'll we'll find out who it is. But I gotta well, go. Got we'll, let's have it towed. Hey, the windshield's tinted too, man. Don't speed in the parking lot. Okay, he's being annoying. Unsafe driving. Right here. There are two options with the ticket. We issue a ticket for a fine or we can issue a warning which uh, is required to go get a, uh, a state inspection to make sure they've been removed. Yeah, I mean, those are a couple different options we go with. Will this, will this get him here faster? Will this, will this make it any faster? Will this get someone here faster? I figured I'd pay what I figured they was worth. Can we make a donation to the police? It's hard, Josh. To, to get a record to do a records request, and you have worked really. I hard. did it. I filled my records More request on the card, and I, I gave I, I gave you a tip. Thank you. Huh? You can well you accept discounts that are worth more than a dollar at McDonald's. I just watched a cop do it, so. Thank you, swear no discounts, no police discounts. Maybe you should check the. I figured I'd, I'd tip you. You don't want this. You have a two dollar bill? Maybe that would be better. Have. Okay, well, thank you. That's my records request. Thank you very much. I just wanted to thank you for your service. What's going on, guys? I'm at the Ridgefield PD. I'm with your boy, Denver Metro Audits, Banana Anna, Leroy Truth Investigations, and Sweet Tea Audits. They came all the way from Colorado. Now, they did arrest Patricia Pacheco for assaulting me, but they didn't take Leroy's claims seriously. He was, he was assaulted, and I just don't understand. Like, they did the right thing the first time, and then he was assaulted. Maybe that's just because the guy that was in charge assaulted him. That's a tree they didn't want to bark up. But apparently, um, the higher, the more money that you steal from the citizens at the job you don't do, the more able you are to assault people. All right, absolutely. I was assaulted by First Selectman Rudy Marconi, and Sergeant DeFalco specifically would not press charges. I showed him the video. He wouldn't press charges. I do not want to talk with Sergeant DeFalco. No. He is a Benedict Arnold and a corrupt <laughs> protector He's of the Benedict assaulter, Arnold. Rudy Marconi. Yes. I want to talk to the highest level person here and press charges against Rudy Marconi for an actual assault that took place on me what are on they camera. On, to protect and serve on the screen there. They, they still have to protect and serve. What a bunch of garbage. It's to protect and serve the thick blue line gang and anyone who works for the employees of well, he left his He left his calls on the screen. Thank you. This one. We check for signs, there is no restricted access signs. Oh, we're not checking registrations. No, we weren't. Is we Patricia Pacheco in there? Hello, Patricia. Patricia. Come out, Patricia. Come on. Hear ye, hear ye. It's okay. We, will, we are better than you. We will not be assaulting you. We just want to talk. Do you not need an inspection sticker in Connecticut, Leroy? Mm, that is a good question, and there is none visible, actually. So they don't need one. Okay. Inspections are required, but... For some reason, they're not. Uh, they don't issue a stick. Man, who's mopping this? 
Uh, the watch commander, just remember, when you speak to him, you can ask. Sadie's back here. Someone's making some, some nice coin. Yeah. One of it's Sergeant DeFalco. Like they need this. But I didn't see Patricia go in the back of that. Right. Oh wow. You know what? I don't know. We gotta check that out. That window tint. That's five percent right there, so. Yeah, take a look at this DMA with his keen eye and observation of the law. Look at this. I cannot see this at all. This is way, way past probably any acceptable window tint. Oh yeah. Hey Siri, what's the acceptable window tint in Connecticut for a car? Oh, you can't even penetrate it. The front I found this on the web. Oh, he's got the front windshield tint yeah, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good eye. Yeah, DMA, good eye. Well, that's probably 20%, but you're that's not allowed to have any on the front. No. Right. Talk to them about that, who owns this? It says Connecticut window tinting laws. Car window tinting laws in Connecticut were enacted in 1994. And window tint darkness, the percent of visible light, da da da. And windshield, front side windows must allow more than 35% of light in. Oh, yeah. Back side must allow more than 35% of light in. Rear windows, any darkness can be used. What about front? Front, it says front side windows must allow more than 35% of light in. Well, they're right. healed. Oh, look at that. Is that a, is that a blue line flag there? It is a blue line on the license plate, too. Oh, yeah. Let's go ask them some questions. 50 Barber. Is this Connecticut license? What's that, Charger? There is no license plate on the front. And there's a blue line.
Hey man, can you give me a hand real quick? What's up? You just need a, a quick hand if you don't mind, officer. A quick hand with what? Uh, well, the, there's a charger over there, license plate barber, that's got illegal tint on the sides. Okay. So do you want to? I know it's got a blue line on it. Did you want to give it a ticket? And it only has one license plate because you're required to have two license plates, right? On a car in Connecticut. Uh, correct. Yeah. So he he is missing one license plate. Okay. And he's got illegal tint. Okay. So can you issue him a ticket well, now? We'll, we'll we'll find out who it is. But I gotta go. Let's have it towed. Hey, the windshield's tinted too, man. Don't speed in the parking lot. Okay, speed in the way. Unsafe driving, right here. That way. Ah, no speeding in the parking lot. I think he was scared of DMA. Yeah. I know. I was trying. He was afraid of DMA. DMA just scared him. DMA, I have to pause for this language. <laughs> Sorry, are you rolling? Yeah. Big dick shit. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said big dick chin. Big dick chin. Oh my god. These people's minds are so dirty. I said you big dick chin. I did. Of big dick chin. Yeah. Of above average <laughs> diction. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to actually, I shouldn't have even done that. I'm going to back off. DMA is the one that noticed the tent. Go ahead, DMA. Yeah, you're, you're leading, boy. Right on. No, and boy. Don't young man. You lead it. I just, when I got there, he was trying to pull away. So that's why I was like, oh, I need you for a second. Yeah. yeah. And he did not care whatsoever. He could not get away fast enough. <laughs> Just make sure. And drove away dangerously. Yeah, very dangerously. Just at the end, we gotta get them to turn off that car. Yep, but now we know the law. He's supposed to have two license plates, the tins, yeah. the running car. Yeah. We know the whole. Everything's broken here. Oh, it's nice and cool, man. It must be nice. Hi. Hey, uh, I got a question. Do you guys, I, I like that, uh, that charger out there with the scat pack. You know whose that is? Oh, is it? Ooh. Yeah, I said, I said watch commander, because I'm a, I'm a Dodge guy myself, Mopar guy. You don't know whose it is, though? Uh, I do. Oh, whose is it? Huh? You can't disclose Oh, you can't disclose it? No, no. Oh, okay. We're just dispatchers, so we'll have to check. All right. Can we get a, can I get a watch commander out here? Talk to me? Sure, let me see what I can do for Okay, thanks. And this is what accountability for all this about, ladies and gentlemen. The DMA with his keen eye, he noticed these different elements that are completely illegal. We would get a ticket so fast, we would not know what hit us. That's because he's so, big. Of course, we got Dickchen, the blue line uh, desecration over there. We're in the back here. Yeah. Yep. Can you desecration stand in the, the back? Can you come inside and close the door because you keep setting the buzzard off? Uh... That's a her problem, right? Like, you're fine and free to stay to where you want. I know. You're nice to move. I probably would have stayed. I don't like what that. What about other They're okay. inside buzzer. I'm sorry, what? We're going to have a shift commander come out. Okay? Thank you. You guys got nice air conditioning in here. Yeah, we were just at City Hall. I didn't have any. It was hotter than heck in there, man. Sweating. Yeah. How are you folks? Hi there. What's going on? Hey, you know, I was... Uh, I'm actually a Mopar guy myself, so nice. I was noticing that charger out there with okay. the scat pack. Uh -huh. um, is that Sweet. yours? No, it's not. Do you know Sweet. who it is? Oh, uh, we can't give out that information. Oh, you can't give it out? Nope. Okay. So, um, we actually noticed that uh, we looked it up in Connecticut. You can only have 35% window tint. Okay. And that's uh, 5% all the way around. And he also has the front windshield tinted. It looks like 20% to me, okay. which is also illegal. And then also in the state of Connecticut, you're required to have two license plates, and he only has that's a correct. rear one. So. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so we just wanted you guys, you know, do your due diligence sure. and find out who that is, and maybe give them a ticket. For yeah, I'll definitely tickets. address it with the officer. Excuse Ticket. me. Tickets. Right? How would you address it? Because I we don't oh, want you to address so, like, hey, buddy, you're a thick blue line gang member like, like I am. Sure. You know, people caught you, so hey, wink, wink. We're not going to do anything about no, it. No, no. I mean, we will address it. I mean, there are there are exceptions to the tint rule. If you have eye issues, you're allowed to have tints on windows. What's the exception to the license plate? I don't think there is one. I'll uh, there I'll wasn't. Know. We we yeah. looked it up. So, no, it's, serious, but I will address that with the officer once I find out who it is. And we'll so, what would be, that. for example, if there was no exemption for illegal tint mm -hmm. all around, 
missing a license plate, what would be uh, the ticket that someone would receive? It doesn't necessarily like have to be that. a ticket. It's officer discretion. If I was to pull you over for illegal tents or a front license plate, I could issue either a verbal or written warning for you and have you taken care of. It's not that big a deal. What I'd like to do is, I mean, you don't want to give his name, so I'm not sure how I would go about this. I'd like to do a records request for how many tickets that specific officer in the past two years has written for illegal tents or missing either the front or back license okay. plate. And I hope to find none because that would make him, what, a hypocrite, right? Well, I mean, I'm not sure. But you'd have to go through the record check through Connecticut DMV and get the information through them. That's something we can release. Well, I can, no, I can get his, his, uh, his stop history here. And yeah, his CAD dad. I can request it right through you. Mm, no, you can't. No, you got to go through Connecticut DMV because even when I went for the position as a law enforcement <laughs> officer, I had to go through Connecticut DMV to get my driving history. There's nothing there. No, no, do. not his personal driving history. Yeah. I want his stop history. I can okay. get that in his, on his on his when he on his vehicle logs. I can get his. I don't have to go to the DMV to get his stop history. I'm not aware we can. Get I just that yet. yeah. I, I just want to look up his citations, and of course you can block out. I think you can redact for reasons of personal privacy. You can claim okay. that, but you redact out the names. But I just want to make sure because we have a real problem if he's riding dirty and then giving people tickets for the same thing. Okay. I mean, and he's in a public parking lot, so sure. I think like normally what would happen is it should get, get towed. So I mean, what are we? What are we? What are we gonna do? Like, is, I mean, I just fair question. Are you gonna be like, hey man, you gotta get that there fixed? There are two options with the ticket. We can issue a ticket for a fine, or we can issue a warning, which uh, is required to go get a, uh, a state inspection to make sure they've been removed. I mean, those are a couple different options we go with. Can or, we do that? I mean, we can give it a shot. I'll take a warning. Let's do it. Can we go together? No, we're not gonna do it right now. Unfortunately, oh. um, but is he I'm, here now? Because I'm not sure whether he's on the road or. Because we're concerned that you're not going to hold him accountable. Oh, we will. We will. I mean, you guys have got us on record, so we're going to have to have a discussion with him now and talk to him. Is he the guy it. with the white watch that's rolling around in the Durango? I'm not sure. Because he seemed pretty triggered when he was... Is there a speed limit in this, this lot? It's usually whatever the... What? Would you clock him at? What do you think we clocked him at? I have no idea. What, let me ask you, what would be... What, without an emergency, pulling in and pulling out... What would be unacceptable or dangerous speeds, do you think, going through the Except parking Acceptable for a, a crowded parking lot or a parking, normal parking lot? A parking lot surrounded by four or five people. Yeah, okay, so so 30 would be a little bit above board. Sure. Almost running someone over. Okay, cool. Right. And you're very nice. My issue's not with you, man. No, I'm just out here to try and help you guys. Yeah. Well, here's another like question that. I have. When yes, you talk with this officer, uh -huh. will your... Or, we, we would like your body cam to be on, and then we will request that footage. So you're not doing anything like Sergeant DeFalco did, which I'm going to get to in a minute with you, okay. of muting the body cam or not having any video and audio evidence of what your discussion is. Because we want to know that to make sure he is held accountable okay. to the same standard that and we would be held And honestly, I will have to check our, our department policy to see whether that's something we can do. I, would, I will have to pick that up to general command and see that. But see how that's like, you I use your body right. cam right. when you're dealing with a citizen, right. but when you have another cop, well, you know... I'm also thinking labor issues. I mean, we're not allowed. I mean, and you go to any normal corporation, they, they do not like or want any type of video recording happening. While well, thank working. God this is not a corporation. Well, I'm just saying any private institution that's yeah. got a union representation. And you're this is issues. public, though. This is a public institution. Right, with union representation. Right, but it's so, still, it's, it's a, okay. should and be a matter of public have to get back to you. And are you the, you're the, the watch commander or the training officer on right now? You're the watch right now, commander? I'm the, I'm the sergeant, yes, sir. Okay, so, well, I saw that your Audi, the watch commander's Audi, I'm assuming that's you, might be someone else's, they, they had legal tint, the car looked to be in, in good shape, mm -hmm. that that was, it was good to see, and I said, oh, this is, this is really good, you should go to PDs, and it's all messed up, and then right. we saw... You saw that guy. I can only imagine how many times he's got pulled over. But you know what you see as soon as you walk up to the back, the blue line. Who needs a front plate when you got a blue line, one on the back? It really doesn't matter. I mean, we. I mean, unfortunately, things have changed over the past couple of years with the tents, and it seems to be more prevalent. But you know, it's something the state of Connecticut has to start enforcing more of, and we'll work on getting that done for you. I got a question for you. Right? Yes, what sir. are your thoughts? Do you think that that should even be a law in the books that, that you should be able to steal money from people for having I'm, too dark I'm a tent? I'm on that one. I'm going to let that one go. Okay. Because, okay. I mean, I personally, like, I don't think that, that human beings should have money stolen from them for having sure. dark window tint. Sure. I think that's silly. Okay. Uh, but, at the same time, if this officer is writing tickets for that, we think that definitely is I can, so. cannot actually remember any time in the past, I mean, I've only been on days for a couple of weeks now, but I don't remember any time tints have been written recently just because of that reason. Right. Because it's silly, right? I'm not saying that. It's just something that's, we've got other things we'd rather be pulling people over for that are more 
public safety related than right. tents. That's refreshing. Yeah. What about uh, what's your thoughts on uh, cracked windshields? You guys give tickets for that? I can't remember the last. I haven't seen any, so I couldn't okay. answer that. I got pulled over for that one time. Oh really? And okay. uh, yeah, I think the cop was bored because you know it's it's silly too because like it's not illegal to drive in a rainstorm with your windshield wipers going like this, right? <laughs> so well, a crack in your windshield shouldn't be yeah. an issue either, right? No, that's that's an interesting thought on huh? it. Yeah. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. How can you have your hand on your taser? Do you feel it's just what, the way it's just comfortable for me. Okay. That's where everything kind of rests is right here. It's we're comfortable. That is a concern. I'm glad you brought that up. No, it's just All just right. the way I rest my hands. And I have something Nothing which is a, about it. of, of uh, more extensive in what I'm looking to get from you is I was assaulted by first selectman Rudy Marconi a few months ago. Okay. Which I caught on camera, mm -hmm. and he came down to me, got in my space, okay. which is illegal, right? I mean, if someone gets in their space, and then hits my camera, which okay. is attention to me, and he did it, and then he did it again, verbally acknowledging that, mm -hmm. I wanted to press charges okay. the next day on Rudy Marconi. Initially, you know, I didn't know what's going on, et cetera, the next day, okay, I want to press charges, talked to, talk to Sergeant DeFalco twice, mm -hmm. He saw the video, right. said, no, I will not press charges. And if it was reversed, and I did that to Rudy Marconi, I would have been arrested with prejudice. So I am here today to talk with someone over Sergeant DeFalco. Actually. Or someone parallel to him that will do the right thing. Would you be willing to give a sworn written statement with your name and address and all your yeah, information? Yeah, absolutely. I mean. And I, and I, want, I want charges filed against him and so that justice can be served. And he's held to the same account that you, any of us, any of the general public would be held to. Okay. And and I want him arrested for that as well. Okay. So, so whatever I need to do to, you know, to make that happen today, I want to do that. All right, well, let me go back inside and I'll see what I can do to make that happen and see if that's something you're really seriously considering. We'll work on it and see what we can do. No, I'm, okay. I'm not just considering I want to okay. do it. I wanted right. to do it months ago and twice Sergeant DeFalco refused. So I saw the video. This, that's not a I'm not aware of the case. I didn't see the video, oh, so I'm oh. not sure. Can I show the video right now? I have no, it right, right. here. I'm, well, you got to see it. You know, as part of what, what I'm going to be reporting, I want you to see the video today okay. while I'm here. All right. And I'd be more than happy to talk to Sergeant DeFalco and see what his thoughts are. I don't care about he Sergeant DeFalco. Okay. He, he's obviously corrupt. He's obviously not doing the right thing. After mm -hmm. seeing the video, right. and it, it shows it blatantly, you can't hit the person's camera. That's an extension to me. Sure. And you can't get in a person's space. Okay. And which Rudy Marconi did threateningly mm -hmm. to attempt to intimidate me. And he came after me, which the video would indicate as well. I didn't okay. come up to him. So right. I, I want charges finally filed against him so that we the people have some sense that you are not a corrupt police station, which Sergeant DeFalco has, has shown that to be. So I'm, okay. I'm hoping that that is not you and others here. I would hope it wouldn't be him either. So I'm well, it is him because he wouldn't let me file charges okay. against someone who assaulted me. Which is crazy. It, ha it happens. Do you know who I am? Afraid I don't. No. no I was uh, also assaulted in the city hall, and, and Lieutenant Darling, actually, Darling, actually uh, arrested her and charged her for okay. disorderly conduct. Sure. Um, and she was, Rudy Marconi was more violent to him than she was to me. He was calculated. He walks down the stairs grabs his stuff, walks away. He says, I just got you on camera, okay. grabbing my stuff. He comes back down and strikes the camera again, admits mm -hmm. to it. Okay. I mean, it, position people in position of power coming from that building, assaulting folks left and right. It's not it's not a good look, and it's far more viral than it is a bad look. Oh, sure. So no, I'd like, I, to, I see, the like to see so. good cops do good things. And, I mean, I know Lieutenant Darling did the right thing. Is it Darling or Darling? Darling. I know Lieutenant Darling did the right thing. Mm -hmm. um, we were reasonable. Okay. Uh, the problem is we offered her an apology. Mm -hmm. I won't press charges if you apologize. Right. She must have skipped kindergarten where she didn't learn that you can't assault people because you don't like what they're doing. So we press charges. You know, you can't regardless of what position you take or what seat of power you sit, right. you can't go try and obstruct someone's First Amendment right mm -hmm. with physical use of force. Right. No, I understand. You know? and I can I see mean, why he's upset. I've been there. No, I, right. And I'm hoping that yourself and other officers will do the right thing as opposed to Sergeant DeFalco, who did the wrong thing. Okay. So can you want to have a seat and give me a minute? I'll go back and see what we can do to get this happening. Yeah. If that's what you're, you want to do? Yes. I'm going to do some records. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, so could you do me a favor? Could you tell me what that is? Which what? That thing on the wall. The air conditioner? No, the thing all the way across the wall, that big thing, what is that? What do you think it is? I'm asking you. It's a flag. Okay, but what's in the middle of that? Do you see it? Absolutely. What is that? It's a thin blue line flag. 
Well, that should be taken down immediately. Doesn't doesn't look like our flag, man. It's not. I mean, I love our flag. I have it all over me. It just looks a little bit. One of these things are not like the other. Right. Here. It's not a desecration of. It doesn't go against U.S. flag code, so no, it doesn't. Well, it's in a. It's in a. It's being displayed in a public mm-hmm. building. So okay. if you actually it, forget the flag code, it's against the political prejudice display. So, like, okay. if you have something, and the Supreme Court has ruled that it does not have to be cloth. It does not have to be on a pole waving. Okay. If you have a political flag. Posted in a building, a public town or our federal yes, it's building. It's not a political flag. It's a flag. It's a, a flag of support for law enforcement. I mean, I could put a, a "Make America Great Again" flag too. That would be in support of Trump, right? That's, but yeah, that's what you believe. That's your first amendment, right? That's got but, but not in a public building, you can't do that. If I want to do that in my personal home or sure. business, I can do that. But not right. in a public building, you couldn't fly a Trump flag. Right? Okay. Do you Same think thing, you can't fly that one? Do you think the soldiers, you know, our brave men and women of our armed forces, who? paid the last measure of devotion for this country when they were going down do you think they pledged allegiance to this flag or to that flag there's no pledging of allegiance to that flag did you serve sir no i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't get to take that on it but there is i mean there is a pledge of allegiance to it right well, he's got it he's driving yeah. a dirty illegal vehicle and that the cop back there and okay. on that car he's got a blue line right you know what i mean it is okay right but it's not relevant whether he served or not that's that's you know, nothing to do with any any. Discussion. Did you serve? Yes, I did. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. We love our veterans, right? And you know, let me ask you a question. Did you which flag did you fight for? You might be fighting for this one now, but which flag did you fight for that's when you were protecting flag. this country? That's my own personal belief. I mean, I do honor my service, to the United States, and the flag. So that's my belief. The blue line flag is just something that we consider as a supportive flag, not a political flag or a political symbol. Why do you have to? Why do you have to way. display that publicly? I don't understand. That's that. not a public portion of the building. It's, We're looking right. at it right here. it's in the lobby. If you can see it's it, it's public. we can see it because we don't have that cop's tint. Right. Okay. So we can see it clearly. And I just have another thing to say that seems a little concerning. Um, there is an employee back there. I believe he's an officer of some kind. I'm not sure exactly what he does here, but it doesn't seem to be like he's. I mean, currently, I think he might actually be doing his job, but he, he's. He's got a lot of time on his hands, chewing gum, eating food. Playing on the phone. Playing on the phone, exactly. Thank you. He noticed, too. Um, when when the people are employing mm-hmm. these officers, okay. they should be productive when they're on the clock. Okay. And you have another officer that speeds through the parking lot as if it's like a normal thing for him to do. Like maybe he does donuts or figure eights. No, I'm not sure. That. No. But he likes to speed away. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll address that with him right. as well. I appreciate yeah, you we, taking the time, and thank you for your yeah. service. You do no appreciate problem. it, man. Yeah. He right. thought he was Jeff Gordon. And, and uh, it's a car. <laughs> he did think he was Jeff Gordon. The car. Can I get your business card? You got one? No, I don't have one on me. I'm sorry. Can you bring one out when you come back? I'd have to go find one, but yeah, okay. And then do you mind you. shutting off the car? That's oh, the yes. Lot? The car that's running. It's been running out there since we've been here for about 40 okay. minutes. Okay. It's just wasting gas, like $4 a gallon. So if you don't mind just shutting it off, that would help. Okay, we'll take care of that too. Thank you. Thank you. Right, and before you go, why is it running? Just yeah. to keep the interior cool because we have to jump in it and go at a sick at moment's notice. So that's why so it's usually just running to keep the interior oh, cool. Do you do that's your personal car that you have to pay for gas on your own dime? Sure. You, you, leave, find, yeah. you leave your vehicle running outside your house just in case it's, it's idle? usually garage, so I don't have to worry about keeping it cool on the outside. Where are the idling laws? I have to look it up. Okay. I can help with that. I'm yeah. sure you could. 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes. So, you know. Okay. I don't, I don't uh, like people that, like, pretend to know things and throw away. No, like, I, I like I to do research. We I all do. Admit I don't. And no, listen, that's I, have, why I was asking because I don't know. Okay. I have a hard, like, I, I do have a hard time being combative with anyone that served this country because I'm freer for your service then. Right. And I want to see if he will be represented by right. your service now. I so I appreciate your time. Old perspective, you know, 360 view is you do intend to go back out within 20 minutes but if we get busy here that time can get longer I, i've got an update so. for you because 20 minutes is in the number of states okay connecticut is three minutes okay three minutes so, so we are way over that okay and when did that change i, I just looked it up now this is as, oh, okay it's brand new as of 2021 it's new well, now that i know I and no yeah, idling it, it well, says no idling is a law personal vehicle too i mean that's a good law to know oh it says every any vehicle whatsoever connecticut right. is committed to reducing air pollution Protecting our health and improving the environment, okay. and any vehicle whatsoever, no exclusions. The well, three-minute law. So, thank you very much. Yeah, so including the, the, the police car. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Awesome. There's no exemptions. Yeah. Okay. That's great. And once again, thank you for your service, thank and you. thank you for speaking to all of us and 
thank you for taking care of. Did you, you still want to follow? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, yeah, have a seat. Thank and you. I know you feel like you're coming at, that's not an empty thank you. I really do value your, I'm doing this mm -hmm. because of what you did. So okay. with that respect is owed to you, earn that. You we're just, you we're just upset because, I mean, both of us are assaulted there. We found three legal lawful violations. Sorry. We want to fix it. No, it's not. I'm sorry. We, we need you to go on a call. Okay. Right. Sorry. Call. Excuse me, guys. Don't go, come back with our stuff. Don't go on a call. Did you want to go? What did he say? Did I'm going to go outside in case call. he tries to leave. Yeah. You wait for your stuff here. No, he was rescued. That was yeah, like, that was a rescue. Let me go out back just in case. Yep. I'll let you know. So he got rescued. He has to go on a call. And he has to go on a call. I'm going to see if he comes out. That's his car. That's your car. Yeah, like I said, sir, I got busy. Uh, so, are you driving I'm around to, to the inside? No, I got a, I got an emergency I got to go to right now for a, a medical assist. So, so I, oh, I, we're I, not going to do his complaint? No, I mean, you talk to the. It may end up waiting until the captain gets back, which is Monday morning. So, talk so to did him. did we tell him that no one's coming back for him? I was going to ask uh, the inside officer if you want to talk to the dispatcher. He will take care of that for you. Uh, where, where's the address you going to? I'm not sure. I have to check it out on my cat. All right, let's check okay. it out. Protecting and serving, man. See, I thanked him for his service too soon. He's not. He's not even. He's not even going lights on, but he's got an emergency. Oh, and he sped out of the parking lot. Yeah, and that was his vehicle that was left running. So I want to show Leroy how we did the right thing. Let me let me show him. He's not protecting and serving Leroy Truth Investigations. Ford look on the old town of Richfield. I knew he was going to do it. I've been yeah. doing this too long. Yeah. Glad you came out here. I didn't get out here quick enough. He said, I'm sure someone will tell him. What he was going to take, what he was going to do is to put on a front and then get out of here. He was going to take your complaint. He was going to leave. And then you can be like, oh, well, something happened. I'll come back the next time. They can lull you out. That's what, yep. that's what happened. That's what happened. This is absolute garbage. <laughs> where's, um, hey, Rosa, where's, uh, where's Sergeant Caswell? Oh, he didn't tell us. He didn't tell us. But he said that. I, I don't care. I don't care. He said that he'll be right back. He's getting a criminal complaint. Don't you think someone should have told us that he wasn't coming back? Well, he actually, it's funny because I spoke to him outside. He put that on you. He said he, he didn't. We got him on the phone. He didn't say that. He'll take care of it for you. Rosa, what happened there, man? And why did you save him? Why did you pull him out of the lobby here when he was working with us? Who gave you that command? Let's do yeah, it's on. Let's go let's go to records and pull tickets here. Can we get do some some work here today. You guys pissed me off. Rosa, did you hear that? This gentleman asked, can we get another supervising officer out so we can do a criminal complaint? I mean I'm blown away that he took off. Yeah. He bailed. And how did I know he was going to do that? I'm so, I knew you guys were going to be dishonest before you did. So when he said he'd come back, I knew he was going to do the wrong thing. I went around side to watch him leave. We're more used to you guys screwing up than doing the right thing. And we just got 
He just got paid. Where's Records? Right. He literally scurried out of here like a rat. Where's Records? I got Records to do. Like a scared, cowardly rat. I wonder if the green car is his. Who's in, who's in Records? Could, could be. I have Records. Are you denying me my Records rights? It's his freaking car. He, and he doesn't know the law. It's got to be his car. He didn't even know the Igley law. Well, actually, maybe he did, but of course he didn't care. I wonder if that black is they, cat is his. Can they close this thing? Or just no, it just closes. Yeah, I know, but it was open for a long time, uh, so it just... I, mean, I need to ask them for, for records. Miss, who does records? We've been, we've, we've been, we're here before that call. We just want who does records. That's all we need, someone in records. I have a right under FOIA to get my records. Well, good thing we also have the license plate number, so we can look that up to see who's... who's Peekaboo, Marco? Yes, true. Marco. Yeah, this is incredibly <laughs> Marco? egregiously wrong. Yeah. What he did. Marco. Like Howard, he bailed on my complaint, yeah, just like the Falco, protecting Rudy Marconi, and he made a declaration protecting the thick blue line. Yeah. The, the coward blue line. Right. Because he supports, you know, supports police officers. Yes, and you're against the public, obviously. Otherwise, he would have taken my complaint. Right. I have records. What's going on? What's Hello. And I think they're playing like hey. Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune here. No, you shush. Don't put that finger up. I got a finger for you. It's this one. Get me records. Good one, baby. Are you laughing at me, sweetie? Yes, give them, babe. <laughs> so the, the one sergeant, what's his name? Cassell? Sergeant probably Castle or Cassell. Sergeant Coward. He bailed. Yeah, Sergeant Coward. Oh, Sergeant C. He bailed. Yeah. And then says, oh, this dispatcher will, will let... Oh, my he God! Bailed. Then he bailed. I'm a cop. What? Look at this. No. In the 60s, bottom right, look at that cop. Holy smokes. Zoom in on that with you, camera, Leroy. AFA, the, the 60s cop. Oh, my God. I see it. You are a reincarnation yeah. of the opposite of the police now. A freedom fighter, a true freedom fighter. I wonder what his last you know what we do, ladies yeah, and gentlemen? We protect and serve, not the police. Yeah. They protect and serve each other. We protect and serve we the people. No, that guy looks. So gross. we are literally the antithesis of. No, we don't wait. We're here first. Let's get it together, guys. No, that guy looks like culture. a gross asshole, tyrannical. Three brain cells all fighting each other. Oh, Someone's gotta get me some records, you guys. Let's well, go. Go, jump. Well, here. Hey, Cam. Man, like, I need some help, man. Are you just gonna ignore me the whole time, or what's going on here? What's going on here? He was just reporting an assault, like, uh, and he just bailed on me, and the cop literally. I need a records bailed. request. I just need a records request. It's paper. I just need a records request. Yeah, I buzzed it. No one's coming. We need yeah. records. Oh yeah. yeah. And we need a supervising officer, another supervising officer. Or call the captain here. Wake him up. Get him out of his golf game. Come on. I haven't called you. Have you? I did, yeah, twice. So maybe I shouldn't hit the Sitting down, waiting for records. We can be here all day. Or until maybe if this spot closes. Um, no, we're going to go. Obviously. But we could be here all day. Hey, if you know what? At least it's cool in here. We got some air conditioning, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah buddy. The least they can do is get some lemonade shannon. and some popcorn, for God's sakes. He was the skater boy. She said, see you later. Skater boy. Yeah. Did you need to sit, sweet tea? Oh, no. I don't have to sit. You want to sit? No, she's just... I'm better. Cool. Records! Oh. Supervisor! This, ladies and gentlemen, is how, I'm going to turn the camera around here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how Richfield, Connecticut, police officers treat the public. It's a disgrace. It is complete cowardness, disgrace, unprofessional, corruption. I thought maybe this police officer would do the right thing, unlike Sergeant DeFalco. He's on the, he's on the phone with him right now asking if he's coming back. What a coward. Man, AFA just. Oh, oh. Hold on. It's on the phone now. It's on the dispatcher's phone now. It's on the phone. 
maybe there's one cop trying to get him to come back. Oh, they're listening to a commercial. They got the TV going somewhere. I can't see it from where I'm at. That cop straight up said that he that, that he does that at his house with his personal vehicle. He just lets yeah. it idle in the driveway for hours. Yeah. <laughs> just in case he needs to go somewhere. Yeah, he admitted it. Someday. Yeah. No, he didn't admit it. He's lying. He doesn't do that with his personal vehicle. <laughs> right. Of course because he doesn't. He's paying but, for the gas. But if he he's does. Just, he was just trying to say, like, oh, yeah, it's perfectly normal to just waste your money. Something in here is vibrating. You can hear the show they're watching. They can't get us a complaint for them if they have time to watch TV. It's interesting. Like, he's a sergeant and he's pretending, or maybe he legit doesn't want an idol. Anymore. Extreme disrespect of the He's a sergeant. And, and I literally pretending. came here to file a criminal complaint of an assault. Know idling and this you know sergeant. I mean? yeah. That's his job. Right. Did not care. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think that the uh, like police officers, mess. they should be at least paralegals to be enforcing the law. Yeah. And really makes training and saying, how can you enforce Texas something you don't even know what it is? Yeah. You know, that's crazy. Or you pretend not they to know. Either way, they're way. Just, if they would just... Much who more does records? If they would actually go to school for four years and learn the law, we'd have less lawsuits, right? Because mm-hmm. they'd actually know the law they're enforcing. But... They just throw them out there six God. months and start them at, you know, 60000 for the first year. And they're Maybe this buzzer's not working. I'm going to press it for a while. Maybe it'll it'll work. It yeah. might not be working. You're right. I don't know. I'm, I'm pressing it. I can't tell. Records. I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything either. <laughs> I don't think they can hear me over the radio or TV show they're watching or listening to. I told you they're overstaffed. They have, like, um, everyone too many working here. I'm going to ring the buzzer here. Do you want to sit down there? Why do you have the phone number to a supervising officer, some other supervising officer? I don't trust him. I'm sorry, sir. I don't trust him. Okay. Well, that's why I'm bringing another officer, sir. He can speak to you. Bring a supervising officer. Who who can you bring as a supervisor? Who can you call right now? Right now, the supervisor on is Sergeant Coswell. And where's the captain? Sorry? Where's the captain or the chief? Who is the highest level here? Can you come in? Huh? This is important because it's looking like corruption here because I, twice Sergeant DeFalco has not allowed me, even though I have video proof, evidence, that Rudy Marconi assaulted me, he has not allowed me to press charges. And now this guy scurries away like a little coward. And so I need someone higher up. I need a, I need a pen to fill out my records request, please. I'm going to fill it out right here. Thank you. And I'm not trying to... Do you have the badge number for the guy that has that illegal car? Because I need to... That's what I'm requesting him. The badge number? So how do I request... How do you know that it's him I'm speaking to? Do I just write tyrant with the illegal vehicle? When the officer comes in, you can speak to him. Well, I'm sure, I guess I'll just write tyrant with the illegal vehicle. I'll just write tyrant with the illegal vehicle. Whatever, whatever you like, sir. You Thank you. That's what floats my boat. They're overstaffed with incompetent. Do you want to get his license plate? You can do it that way, too. Yeah, it's 50 Barber. Okay. Absolutely yeah, no the green problem. scatter. All right, we got three people here and doing basically nothing. Incompetent. In a little tiny town. There's really not a lot of room to write on this. Maybe I can get him another cop's business card. I usually keep them. That'll be funny. Yeah, it would be. Oh my god, he's bad. This guy's tyrannical. The guy right up front? Oh, guy on the right? right? Yeah. He looks tyrannical. There he is, guys. Yeah, will, this, will this get him here faster? Will this... <laughs> will this make it any faster? <laughs> will this get someone here faster? I figured I'd pay what I figured they was worth. Can we make a donation to the police union or something? That may actually prop it, expedite things. Oh, <laughs> What's the date, right. the 7th? Today is the 7th. Yeah, see, Josh understood. We should have we made a, 
a donation to the police, or offered to make a donation to the police union and the police benevolent association immediately. The coward union. AKA the coward union. Yeah. Thank you for your insightful reframing of the words. It's more like a 380 insightful thing that I did. I think that's a, that's a new bananaism. Yeah. Went full 380. We had a 380 <laughs> car that had 380 degrees illegality. <laughs> Did you notice he used a 360 term when he was speaking with us as yeah. sergeant? I, I laughed because oh, by the way. he just said, he was talking about the what? illegal tent was 380 all the way around, and I meant 360. Uh, yes. And then I was like, wait, 160? I just. And did you know, this is something that I bet none of you knew this. There is a place in Connecticut that you can just find all the criminals on one wall, and it's right there. Oh, the Criminal Hall of Fame. Literally, oh they are listed right here. Grandy and Naugatuck and Morris. I did it! Oh, I'm so proud of you. I did it. You shouldn't have to work that hard, Josh, to, to get a rec to do a records request. And you have worked really I hard. I did it. I filled my records request on the card. And I, I gave I, I gave you a tip. Thank you. Huh? You can't You can well you accept discounts that are worth more than a dollar at McDonald's. I just watched a cop do it, so I figured I'd, I'd tip you. You don't want this? You have a two dollar bill? Maybe that would be I don't better. Know. Okay, well, thank you. That's my records request. Thank you very much. I just wanted to thank you for your service. It was a dollar. I gave a twenty to the guy that valeted my car, though. Thanking you. Thanking you. Why do they want my dollar? Why do they hate me? Right. <laughs> Why are they against your dollar? <laughs> a dollar makes you holler. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> why do they hate you? I don't know why they don't like you. Well, I, I can know. tell you why because we don't have a badge. I have, I have a dollar. Does anyone else? Maybe we like. If I, does anyone else have more? No. I have four. You have four. Oh, see, I think Chief that. Cheap balling. We're up to five now. And who has a flush? Who has a royal flush? Actually, you know what? I have one dollar. Do you? Six? I do. What? I always keep one dollar in this wallet so I can buy a stamp if I need to. Well, oh, I have you. a stamp. I do have a stamp. Look, it's right back here. Well, that's like currency. That's, yeah, that's the highest currency of all. They oh, yeah. Don't don't match. Match. I don't have it anymore. Balls I had a stamp in here, too. I do. Let me see this. Are we offering a stamp now, too? <laughs> oh, you're just very nice with that. You're like, you're, like, you're, you're like Leroy Truth dressed. You know. With a female okay. version. But, but you don't know, because I've been to a man. Right, according to the woman at Richfield. Here we go. Here we go. Woman in Richfield. According to the person in Richfield, we were talking about. I wanted. I wanted to apologize about the whole dollar thing. I realized that came off kind of rude. I have six dollars. Well, what does shortly mean? Oh, perfect. What does shortly, shortly mean? mean? Give us an ETA. He oh, there he's right there. there. I see him. He's got a bald head. There's two of them. They're multiplying. I can split it up. It's Three like dollars gremlins. a piece. I got chills. They're multiplying. It's, it's like gremlins. Someone must have given them water and fed them after dark. <laughs> Did you guys know you're in the presence of greatness? Yes, his name is, he is I and I is him. Slim, Slim with, with a, a tilted, tilted brim. brim. How you doing? DMA. How you doing? DMA. They're back there too, which is like, and that's really, like that shows how coward, how much cowards these cops are. Because they're leaving this these young ladies up here back. To, to deal with this mm -hmm. while they hide. Yeah. So when they Cowards. say he's retired, do they mean that they killed this poor puppy? Uh, no, usually when they retire, they just go live with the cop. Who knows if he had a bad shift, though? But he did pass, though. It says, yeah. Or is that just when he served? Well, I mean, it would have been back in 2015, so he probably passed on at some point. That's a long life, though. I mean... I'm, I'm, sure he he sure I'm sure he didn't serve that long because he would have been away out of his prime. Right? Yeah. Well, look at how sweet yeah, he is. And they made him a killer. That's how eight years probably. He probably didn't even He's probably. He's at least an enabler of pain killers. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, my breath is sticking. Oh, here comes cop, guys. Let's go out there and greet him. Yeah. Comment. I got your rig. That's a different one. Like 
I lost the guy to haul ass out of here, remember? Yeah. No, it's not. The other guy had a white, um, it's a different cop. Oh, there's another one. One of them's coming to talk to us. Are they all bald? I don't know. You want me to hold that? How's the other one going through the light? Going that that way. Denver Metro Audit Smoke is what it is. She doesn't want the They're smoke. Yeah. They don't want the smoke. No one's coming. 100%. I bet you someone comes. No. I doubt it. Are you here to talk to us? Hey, to, to what? Oh, there's a sergeant here? There's a sergeant back there. Oh, he's right there. Hey, Captain, how are you? He, you, you are, I, I can't even be mad. I'm mad right now, but I can't really be mad at you, Captain Reigns. No, I think you guys actually commented uh, good on me last time. So. That's because you did a good job last time. Appreciate it. And we appreciate it. And we saw uh, we Matt Karen's report. And uh, it was, I know sometimes cops, when they say things like they can record in public, like that's not against the law, mm -hmm. that you can catch some flack for that. Oh, on the News 12. Yeah. Okay. Right. You did you, well, you man. You the truth on yes. it. You said, yes, you can record. It is not criminal. It is not worthy of getting assaulted, what Patricia Pacheco did to him. And it was not worthy of me when I went to the town hall to get assaulted by Rudy Marconi. Okay. Uh, which Sergeant DeFalco wouldn't allow me to press charges, even after seeing the video. I don't want to get into all of that. Well, I, I just you're want to you're here charges. today. For, okay, yeah. so two things I have for you. One is a written statement, which I believe you offered that day. You're more than welcome to do that for that incident. Yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Here's your card that you gave. This is the records request for whatever the records were you were looking for. for oh, that's that's so that's actually like that. me. Yours? That I was the so one requesting excellent. records. Thank you. Thank that you. goes with you. Within yeah. four days, they'll contact you. Perfect. And, and, and just so you know, since you're here, very, uh, you haven't met him before. I didn't have him personally. Very, very reasonable guy. Yeah. He did some good stuff. You have a cop in the back. I don't know who it is that's driving. The, the license plate, 50 Barber. He's got a charger okay. with illegal tints, and he's missing a plate. Okay. So that's the records. I don't know if maybe, I mean, first of all, because I want to see how many people he's written either tint or plate tickets to. Okay. Do we know the badge number for that officer? I got to go find out. Okay. And secondly, what do we do about that? It's illegal to drive a car in Connecticut with one plate. You, you can right? do whatever you have the legal rights to do. No, I'm asking you like request. what you would do with that situation. If you have one of your sub subordinates you know, operating an illegal motor vehicle. Like, what, what would be the follow-through If there was that? any issues, it would go through our internal process. And just can we, can made. you look into that? I can look into it, yeah. yeah. it's just, I mean, listen, I, and it's not a great look. Like, how, mm -hmm. like, I do a record request, and it turns out, let's just say, the guy has written five tickets in the mm -hmm. past two years for not having a plate. Yep. His personal car's got a legal tint, and it's missing a plate. I'm not sure about the front plate. I'm not even sure if he's one of the officers that has the doctor's note for the tent. I'm sure I have, about the front plate. I have, you looked at it. No, I, I don't. I don't know a reasoning for it. If it's if it's lost, missing underneath that one, I didn't even see the car. But I will look into it. Thank you. That's your paper. You have your paper. All right. So I need more a pen. than we'll, no so problem. Fill this out. Yep. Yes. And then could you take down that? I don't even know what to call it. It's not a flag. The, the thick uh, blue the, line gang with that, it well, needs to be that, taken that, down. That was actually I think, given to us as a. Uh, no, not it's, every, it's a gift that's against we the people. A gag gift. Not everyone makes great decisions on getting uh, gifts. Yeah. Like, right. don't get mom a vibrator. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I mean uh, not everyone makes great decisions on gifts. I mean, oh, I still have a pen right here. You know someone who's done that? Uh, no, not yet. The right thing, not what he did. So that there's transparency. I'm going to go over here, here Cap, and you fill this out. Oh, yeah, video. I can't speak for him. I wasn't there that day. Uh, but from what I understand, you were offered the opportunity to... Initially, I was, and I decided not to because I wanted to assess. I didn't want something to be pinned on me. That was my concern. That's why I ended up ripping it up because I figured my words would be taken out of context, and I would be arrested or somehow found to be the aggressor when I wasn't. When the video proves okay. that I wasn't. Like I said, I'm not but now I'm not unless there was evidence there. So it's the same process as it was before. Right. And once you're, I fill this more out, more willing to give that statement. Then what happens next so that it doesn't get dismissed? Oh no. There, there's it's the incident number that's already been issued so it's it'll be a follow-up to that incident and whatever supervisor will follow up on it whatever. i don't want it to be the falco absolutely okay. not him 
uh, forward it to the town. What's the time frame? So I'm going to fill this out today. Yep. I'll give my statement. Also, you need to have the video so you can see. Can I show you the video right now? From right? that day? Yeah. I think we've all seen it a bunch of times. I mean, here's so. here's right. Yeah, well, about just over. <laughs> here's right where. Just over a million of them. Now he comes down with the aggressor. And he's coming to me. Did it again. Yeah. And, and so you just saw it. So what were the charges that he will be given? From from what I understand, yes. all the evidence was looked into into that and there was no Criminal charges? He just hit my camera. I understand that. What if I did that to him, uh, Captain Rand? What if I did that to him? I don't want to get fine line as far as like criminal assault or something like that. There's disorderly conduct. There's breach. Well, whatever of the instance. charge is, but what did he do? What statute did he break he, by he, willfully? He, he was un unfortunately aggravated to the point that he he made contact with a piece of equipment that you had. There was no. That's an extension of me. So so he, he walked so up and I get it. So because he got yeah. aggravated, he's allowed. And, and I'm going to let patrol look at all the evidence versus that little tiny bit that I just saw, and and they'll make a decision on it. Because right, if, so. if, I'm not feeling if, good about this. If we had done it to him, <laughs> we'd we'd be in fuck. Right. No. Because As, if I did that to him, to, to tell me honestly. If I did the same exact thing to him, he would have called you, and or whoever would be called. No, I mean, I would we, we deal with this kind of stuff all the time. There's people that assault each other in public, and unless one of them wants to press charges, there's no charges. Right. Well, which the I state, do, you know, and I wanted to, okay. and I was dismissed twice. I'm not aware of that. All I'm is aware of is that you were offered an opportunity to fill out a statement, which we right. need in a moment. Order. But then, then I, I twice. Talk to Dofalco, and he should have record of that. Okay. And you're aware of it now because I'm telling you this yep. now. And so I'm going to fill this out. So, so How can he sure. walk up the stairs? He walked up the stairs, and he was so aggravated. As you can see. He was not, as so, I, yeah. But see, that's but unfortunate. He was so aggravated. You, you guys knew this. No, you guys my, have been doing this my long My question enough. is, he turns around, he walks all the way back down the stairs, and then and that happens. So he gets paid over $250,000 a year, and he can make a split second decision to make, spend a million bucks on a sidewalk. But he can't stop himself from walking down the stairs and assaulting someone. I can't speak, it's his I can't speak for his actions, even. just like I can't speak for everybody else that's well, Captain Rain, uneducated. You, just justified on it. First you, said was so, you said he was so aggravated. That's why I hit my camera. Well, a lot of people that that, that doesn't that, justify that, it. But that's what happens. That's against the law. I've seen a lot of videos out there, not only yours, a lot of videos from First Amendment auditors that, unfortunately, on education or just. I agree. He's uneducated. Over, I know that. Over agitated that situation. He went yeah. and this is what he got yeah, So that's against the law. And I, so I want him to help to the so, same standard. So, so fill out a formal statement that that's what you want with all your correct information on there. They're probably going to need your ID. They'll they'll assign it to somebody. If you don't want it assigned to Sergeant DeFalco, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. And we'll we'll go forward with it. Okay? Right, I'm going to give this. I don't have faith in this, even upon what you said. But I'm going to fill this out and see if you do do the right things if we have the evidence on the camera. Absolutely. Yeah. And we want to highlight you, yes. Captain. Also, and if you, you do, we will highlight you if you do the right thing. Can okay. You, can you speak and arrest to the officers that work for the department and just educate them on the idling laws? Because there was a vehicle that was out in the parking lot back here. It was on for at least 40 minutes from what we... Is it a police car? Yes. So there's different laws. So before I even get into all that, I'm not going to argue with you. There's different laws that fall under for, for law enforcement, just like the cell phone laws. All of our, our equipment has to be running. You can't turn off the car, turn it back on, because all the equipment turns off every time you do that. So... Okay, but there was it's, it's one. A, it's a little bit. It's not like a diesel of, truck idling or something like that. I can so, understand that, but it yeah. was one out of the whole parking lot. So if that's a rule, it doesn't make that doesn't make any sense because then it would be the whole or at least a majority of okay. the vehicles. You see what I'm I'll, saying? I'll look into it. But I think that the sergeant just wanted yeah. to be in cool air. Um, and then you're going to take that down. I'll look into it. Look into it. Not acceptable at all. Like that's got to come down. See, I th this is I, I'm sure you guys can see why I do. With the people at home, when I see a cop, what I do is I like to over compliment, right? Over compliment them. Oh, he's a great person, great guy. He's doing a great job for the community, because the the fall from grace is so much larger, right? If you come in and you say you don't do anything, you're trash, and then he doesn't do anything, he's met expectations. But when you lift this guy up, assuming that he might actually do his job, and then he comes crashing down, looking like a fucking asshole. You know, I got my records request here. 
That's why I said we want to we want to praise you. The officer that owns the personal vehicle Dodge Charger license plate Barber 50 has illegal tints in only one plate. I would like all the tint or plate tickets he gave in the last two years. Okay, great. That I don't have to go to the registry to get. Yeah, perfect. Uh, oh, did, did, did I tip you already? No, we don't You didn't get, you didn't receive it? I don't know who stole it. I'm sorry. This is my records request. Thank you. What's your name? 29. Your name's 20. I didn't ask how old you are. I said, what's your name? No, sir. That's the number I go by. Oh, so you prefer to give her a number instead of a name? Okay, Gallagher. Thank you. Bye, Gallagher. Please support now. <laughs> I looked at her name tag Yeah. first, so that she could be like, oh, and then see, this is... See, they wear a name tag for a reason. They so don't, you can know their name, right? They don't hire, like, the smartest folks. Are we supposed to tip everybody? Did they take the tip? She's blowing her nose in there. I think we're all set, right? Yeah. Leroy's well, filling out his paperwork. Waiting, waiting for Leroy. Yeah, this only take a couple minutes. You do what you gotta do. Oh, he's over there. I thought he was... I'm losing my mind. Who do you think he was? In there? Yeah. The sweet tea. Right. And that's why you made that face. You thought you were... Huh? What? Yeah, no, you can pound sand. You're not getting my license. You're I don't need a li I don't need a license for a records request. I was informed that I need to get a license for the order, so I can't really That sucks. I'm not giving you my license for a records request. We'll pretend for a second I know what I'm doing. The only thing I have to provide you, if I don't want to pick it up in person and pay the fine, the pay the fees, is uh, fifty is uh, my email address, which I gave you. So I don't have to give you an ID for a records request. So you want his name, but you didn't want to give us your can I, name? Can I see your ID, please, Gallagher? That sounds good. So they took the money, and they're trying to take your ID? I think she's just confused. She needs the license for the criminal complaint. Or maybe, like, they just have the dumbest people in America working back there. Yeah. Yeah, they need it for the criminal complaint. That's it. They don't need it for a records request. No, she was very clear. She said for the records request. Yeah, she could pound sand. I'm yeah. going to need your ID. That's what she, she can, said. She can kick rocks. Yeah. Because if they don't let me file my records request here, I'll contact the AG. I've he, done it before. He'll, he'll look into taking it down. Why can't he just take it down? Right. No, because he didn't want to straight up say, hey, I'm not taking it down. You right. Know what I mean? So that was kind of his roundabout way of Here's saying, Caswell. Kick rocks. So I think gross. Caswell's coming. Oh. Caswell? Leroy. Looks like Caswell's coming for you. Oh, no, he ran away. He oh, looked Caswell. He's coming out this door. He's coming out this door. Oh, good. Little Freddy boy. Huh? I'm say, I my misunderstanding. I thought this was the written statement from the other gentleman. Yeah, no, I, th I don't even do drugs. I thought I was high. She asked me for ID for no, no, a records no, no, request. Right. I, I, I told I, her to pound sand. You didn't have to go that far. But well, you asked me for my ID. I didn't commit a crime. You're going to go pound no, sand. No. There's no other ways to handle it. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I, kick rocks. I, I misunderstood which piece of paper oh, okay. this was. That's kick, why I asked. Okay. Kick rocks is a good expression. Yeah, that I like that. Yeah. That's better. Or right. pound sand. So yeah. Well, so we will. I will ship this up to uh, Captain Fowler, our watch commander, and, and do the FOI request. And that is that going to be good? Be good? Like they're going to know? Like it's weird. So I don't have his name or his badge number. So I'm saying the guy that owns this vehicle. Sure. I want his. Okay. You understand fine. what I'm asking for? This is a valid email address, so we do have a way to contact. Yeah. Him. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Then we'll right. ship it up, and we'll. Captain Fowler will be in touch with you once we get the information. Real quick, though, did you want my idea? I have it right here. Do you it's want a, it? I mean, we just want to make sure we have I mean, the right Do you want it? Time. You're not going to oh, get so it, buddy. Wait, so then that wasn't a mistake that they were asking for the idea. <laughs> They'll take it. No, no, no. We just want to make sure that, that it's the right person. Well, it's not going to say good citizen on my ID. I'm just making sure that this is a valid email address and one we need to reach out to. I'm like, and I'm trying so hard for you, Saj. You serve this country, and it's like I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to be... I, like, I want to not be nice to you. I and I'm, I, I feel like I'm being pretty nice. No, you're being great, and I appreciate that. I just wanted to make sure that this is a valid email address so that when we do have the information, we can contact you and we're not going to... That that, that email that email works. I've okay. received a bunch of records requests. Okay, that. that's fine. Just want to make sure it works. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Camera doesn't lie, though. We did catch you up in that lie. Which lie? Where you had to confirm that it, that it no, was who I, all he was I asked talking was this to. Was After is it? he offered he you, ID, well. you admitted it. And then he you right, backtracked. You, you got me. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I don't know if lying is like a normal thing. He dropped thing. it. He <gasps> you what? dropped your pocket. 
Do what? You dropped your pocket. That's right. I get it. All right. From the south, do what? Oh, you picked that up in the military. Do what? What's that? All right. Do what? That's a southern saying. Say it again. Do what? Do what? He's Say, a hug. Bless your heart, Caswell. No, bless yeah, your we're heart. not going to go bless your heart, Ruby. That means a whole other thing. <laughs> I know it does. I spent a lot of time in Texas. I know it does. Yeah, it means the star. Wait, the stars at night are big and bright. We're going to go from there. Yeah, I don't sing. So. No. Oh. Well, you can just say it. Yeah. I can sing. Good. I'm I can glad. sing too. I can sing. Awesome. Do you want us to sing your song? We can sing you a song. Would you like it? Anything else I can help you with? Oh, he's ignoring. No, I'm not ignoring. I just. Oh, yeah, no, I think he actually has his criminal complaint yeah. that he's drawing up. He yeah, might I think just he's be done with it. He's right behind me. I didn't know you saw it. Yeah, almost, almost done. He's almost done. Awesome. Yeah. So, is everything all right? Did everyone, is everyone okay on that call you went to? I hope. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, everything worked out. Was it, a, was it a traffic accident? What was it? No, it was just medical assist. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad they're okay. Was it an elderly person? I, that's all I have information. I'm not getting into any more detail than just a medical assist. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, so... Respo- the the age, sex, those aren't HIPAA things because that's what would be put in a police blotter. That's fine. So that's not protected by HIPAA. Like any just, diagnoses just or injuries. Today, I'm not going to give the information anymore. Well, see, but that's okay. the thing. Like, why don't you like you know? Or you have a pretty good idea that I I I know what I'm talking about a little bit. Maybe for some some things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. So how would you tell me it's HIPAA? I know it's not HIPAA. It's. I, I mean, I don't like giving out any information more than I have to. That's okay. Then just say, just say that. Privacy. Listen, I'd rather not talk about it. If you okay. want it, for it. That's all. He's probably so used to lying because that's like two. That's in a like pretty broad minutes. generalization. And yeah. you lied though. I did not lie. How about this? Are you I'll arm. Lie or are you missing? Uh, all right, never mind. Misinformed works better. Okay. I don't. All right. Like I'll arm I'm wrestle you. I, I would like to think so. Too. I'll arm wrestle you. If uh, I lose, we stay. If you win, I leave. Nah, it's all right. Heads I win, tails you lose. Perfect. Okay. See, like I want to like you because you seem like a, a good person. I'm trying. There's just like there's something I'm having trouble with. It's lying. I don't know what it is. It's like you automatically get ten points because you serve this country. Like you could be the biggest jerk in America and you're already ahead of somebody else because you you serve this country. I love I, that. I mean, but the stuff know, that we're seeing I here is, is not good. What? It's because he didn't take that down yet. And, oh, but yeah, that was your car. Why didn't you tell us before? Oh, I, that's my car that was running. I went out and said, "Patrol supervisor." Yeah. I that's caught right. somebody in a Fibsky potatoes. No. Okay. Yeah. Again? Yeah. If you were in a movie, you would have been the Lion King, wouldn't right. you? Okay. We <laughs> see. I'm making you laugh, man. That's all. I'm not. Okay. I could be standing here calling you names. We just want to get some some accountability from my friend here. No, and we're working on that. I know you are. And, I know you and are. that down. Yeah. Why does oh, that? I, all right, I guess for my own a, Why does that offend you? Well, there's a terrorist flag on the wall. A lot of people. You think we're terrorists? That's a, I, I was. Well, let me. Okay, answer a question with a question. Sure. How many citizen? How many police officers were killed by citizens last year? I could probably pull that information up pretty quickly. 144. Mm-hmm. How many citizens were killed by police officers last year? You got that information. Over 2,100. Okay. So who? And do how, you, many, how much of that was justified or not justified? Well, I mean, listen, George Floyd's death was uh, originally I never agreed. originally taking classed. Taking life, it shouldn't be taken so easily. Say again? Taking life is taking life. Exactly. It should not be taken so easily. I mean, so I, I think that there's more likely that that's a terrorist flag okay. your, than, your than this is anything else. That's a great thing about our country. You're actually uh, eight times more likely to be killed by a police officer than a terrorist in the United States. Did you know that? Well, there's more of us than there are terrorists, I would think, so the odds are pretty much... That's, that is true. Yeah. You're a much bigger gang. Yeah. yeah almost, it, almost a that, million that's strong. That's a gang sign. Almost right a million there. strong. Yeah, and they got their own gang sign, right? Okay. As you said. It should be taken are you down. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just rereading. Oh, well, I don't need this because I passed that's, in my record. It, it, it should oh, be yours, taken yeah. down. I thought that's what I'm about. political no, this, agenda this is right from there. from my original time. No, this, this card. That's oh, mine. It's got my writing on it. Let me, let me see. Did he give me the wrong thing? Yeah, he gave that, me that is yours. Yeah. Yeah. See? He was confused. The, I'm, I'm an honest Abe, and no one ever believes me. I believe you. But he didn't. Saj, yeah. Saj didn't believe that me. That makes me sad. Did you believe me, Saj? I, what, about what? He was saying that this was his card, and I knew oh. it was my card. Did you believe him? I didn't even know what you were talking about, so I okay. no Do idea you believe what, him now? If that's, in fact, what happened, then yeah, sure, why not? Uh, All right. Did you turn your car off when you came in? Yes, I did. Right oh, Thank thanks, you. man. For Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. And just as long uh, as we get that down... Home. Yeah, it's got to go. And listen, I heard it was a gift. And I get it. Listen, some people just give bad presents. I mean, yeah. no one buys their, you know, their mother a KY jelly. You know what I mean? That's a bad idea for a gift. All That was, too. I get it. It's, you know. But, I mean, it, you, they could keep it in their private home. 
I mean, just like yeah. in public like that. Sometimes I see the cops with the blue line ring. When you were talking to me earlier, I zoomed in on the camera. I made sure you didn't have one. I did um, and that's like, talk about pimps. Like, that's being married to the game, isn't it? Like, I'm pretty sure Snoop Dogg made a song about that one. Keeping that Ice Cube made a song, too. It's fuck the police coming straight out the underground. But, but Snoop Dogg made the other one. Snoop Doggy Dog. He said 187 on the motherfucking cop. He did say that. Yeah. He said, yeah. yeah. He said a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. And then Ludacris said, there's no pork on my fork. I don't even speak pig Latin, which I thought was lyrically that's, quite wonderful. That's like poetic. Yeah. 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 So this is my statement, and also you can refer to the video for the proof okay. of what happened. And I'm hoping that you, Captain Reigns, do the right thing here. I just want to make sure FIO. My thumbs are fast. Bung, 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 bung. Mine were not as fast. I got the fastest thumbs in the We're gonna have to east. <sighs> okay, I think we're all set. Okay. And uh, once we get the FOI quest taken care of, we'll be in touch with you. So and will you guys like get Rudy Marconi and take a rope and like tie it around his feet and drag him horseback through square the town square? How <laughs> Is that really what you want to see, Don? I'd love that. I mean, that'd be great. <laughs> a little archaic, like, but okay. Fellas well, I mean, can dream, can't they? Is it still on the books? Some some archaic laws are still on the books. I, I they are. Okay, consequences. Have, have you have it? you committed any such felonies? Uh oh. He's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Deep in the heart of <laughs> Texas. Well, you guys have a good day. What's the, ti- what's the, the time? Frame? Time? What's the time frame? When am I expecting to be? I will. Hear I'm you. not sure. As soon as we know, you'll know. Okay. okay. And you're going to take that down now? I will talk to you. Rudy can probably educate us in that law. Maybe. Have a good day, y'all. Talk Thank you. This is Marconi for doing a good job. Yes. <laughs> Deep in the <laughs> heart of Texas. <laughs> good job, babe. Oh my God. Are we out of here? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. That's it. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day, uh, Dispatcher Rosa and Unnamed. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. He broke. He didn't want to break character either. He did. I couldn't. When when you were mouthing it, I was like, what is he saying? Uh, guys, if you have not, please subscribe to my friend Denver Metro Audits, Banana Rana, Sweet Sea Audits, Leroy Truth Investigations. We'll catch you on the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today.